welcome to the PM Box webcast. My name is Neil Stolovitsky. I'll be your host today. And today's topic will be social PPM and how the new changing project workforce is adapting to this new technology that has been introduced in the last number of years. So for today's agenda, what I'll be covering is who the information worker is. Obviously, uh, they're the most habitual users of social media tools and then I'll be talking about social media and, and its applicability in the workplace. Uh, we'll be also looking where to draw the line within a project and portfolio management world where social media tools will be relevant, where they could be hurtful to your organization and finally I'll leave you with a nice checklist to evaluate your own readiness for social media within your own project management environment. So to get things started let's first define who the information worker is and how they're uh, using social media in their own environment. So for those that are, that are unaware, the information worker is anyone that works on a regular basis with uh, usually technology to manage information, share information, and collaborate on information. But really, if you dial back to 1997, you could see that the information worker was a real, really a different animal back then than it is today. Literally, you were chained to your desk. All the information that you shared and you collaborated on were all locked into your computers, were locked into your servers. Obviously, there were those that had some access to mobile devices to access, access that information, but it wasn't common and it was certainly not that affordable. If you fast forward to 2012, information and the sharing information has fundamentally changed. And this is a great example in, in this comic strip that gives you an idea of where we have gone, where, where information is really really accessible at our fingertips on all types of devices and here you see two parents sitting at the dinner table with their child and they're saying oh yeah we could read your blog or you could just tell us about what you did at school so really you could see that even in a child's mind the extension of that information and how that sh to share that information using tools and social media tools and other tools are relevant and applicable to even to his world so we have truly evolved uh, as, informa as information workers and especially as information workers within the project management world. We're back in 1997, we were really locked in and, and chained to our PCs. You could see there was an evolution where mobile devices became more popular and affordable and then we were able to take that information with us and finally in 2007 everything became cloud-based and you didn't need a mobile device, you just needed access to any uh, web-enabled device in order to access that information and now we're in 2012 and we're really f refining that accessibility and we've really become mature and sophisticated in terms of how we want to access that information, share that information and filter that information and that's why social media has become so popular in the last number of years. So let's talk about social media and its applicability in the workplace. Actually Forrester came out with a report that said that by 2016, the market will reach $6.4 billion in terms of people looking to integrate social media into their workplace. So companies have fundamentally, fundamentally understand that the project workforce is changing and we must adapt accordingly. Otherwise, we're gonna lose uh, that valuable talent. So we have to have, provide them with the right tools that they're used to using. So what is social media? You go on the net, you'll see there's hundreds and hundreds of definitions around the, the label of social media. Uh, in fact, I found a site that had over 30 different definitions of social media. So the definition is really not clearly defined to date, pretty much in its infancy. But if you look at the Oxford Dictionary and even look at that definition, it's pretty vague. So it could be any dedicated website, any application to communicate with, among different people with similar interests. So really social media could be pretty much anything that's web enabled. How do we define what social media tools are going to be useful or applicable within a business environment versus that that are you in your regular personal lives? So I came out with this matrix here to really define the differences between typical uses of social media versus the business application of social media. So the technology itself is pretty similar in nature. There's not much in terms of what types of technology you should be using and in that respect, what really matters is the context. That's the important thing. So in a typical environment, social media is used in a different context. It's used to bring people together, to share uncensored information, to create networks, to grow yourself personally and professionally, and at the end of the day, to really connect. Where in the business context, it's a lot different. So it's the same technology, the same tools, but it's used within a closed network, within your own 
environment. The idea is to strengthen your existing work group and collaboration among your existing work team, as well as your external stakeholders and internal stakeholders. It's to improve the sharing of business information for uh, transparency among reporting and improve your productivity. And the focus is a lot different. It's not on connecting, it's really on enhancing the collaboration that exists. So what does this mean to the project and portfolio management work? Where do you draw the line in terms of introducing social media tools in those environments? Well, for me, I like to define social media for PPM as collaboration on steroids. So it's a way to enhance your existing collaboration network. The idea is to apply familiar social interfaces that are seen in you know, the LinkedIn's and the Facebook's of the world and putting it within the context of your already existing project and portfolio man management collaboration platform that already exists. The, really, the point of this is really to allow easier access to your project information and really enhance what already exists in terms of communication and collaborating among project stakeholders. But with that in mind, you always have to take that with a grain of salt that there are dangers that will always be introduced when bringing social media into your environment. Social media inherently demands a lack of control and can introduce pollution to your project information because of its unstructured nature and because of its concept of constantly exchanging information. So there has to be careful evaluation of the tools that will make sense in your environment without hurting your existing flow of project information. So what does work? Well, what you first got to do before deciding what works in terms of social media within your environment is gauge your readiness to introduce social media tools in your environment. So what does, what does that mean? You have to have a good understanding of what works from a collaboration perspective in your environment and see which tools are going to effectively enhance that collaboration. So you need to develop a strategy, a code of conduct on how to leverage these, these tools accordingly. And be careful in terms of the types of tools that you're going to introduce so that they will enhance your collaboration and not hurt your collaboration. Kind of leave you off with a checklist to help gauge your readiness, whether you're ready for social media within your project management environment. I came up with the following list. So here's some basic questions you should be asking yourself. Would you classify your organization as early adopters of, te of technology? So if you're an organization that's apt to new technology, you're excited about new technology, social media tools have a better chance of success. If not, well, then it could hurt what you're already doing from a collaboration perspective. Do you have any social media tools? Again, this is a great way to gauge whether you'll be ready to use it. Even if you're using it in an informal fashion, it will give you an idea of your readiness to introduce it formally into your social collaboration strategy for your project management. The other thing is the idea of encouraging transparency of your project information. Again, social media tools, inherently the idea is to deliver and provide uncensored information. So when you do introduce them, you do have to be careful in terms of how they're implemented. Another uh, good environment for Social media tools is when you're working with remote teams or dispersed teams. So these tools are very good when it comes to collaborating. So that's a good place to potentially introduce them into your environment, as well as those that are using mobile devices. That's also a good indicator. A very important point as well is to gauge your organization to see how mature the collaboration and documentation infrastructure is in place. If it is mature, then you're probably ready for social media tools to be introduced. And of course, is your project resistant to change? So there's always the change management question. You have to be ready for this change because again, it's gonna change the way you work and if people are not gonna be open to accepting this new technology, there's no point in starting it in the first place. So just to leave you with some final thoughts, just a couple of things I wanna leave you with so that when you do walk away, you could get our perspective on what we think social media can do to your project management environment. Number one, Recognize that the project workforce is changing and with this change, social media is coming along with that. So that's something that you need to think about. The other thing is in order to be successful with a social media strategy, you, you really have to know what those success factors are and make sure they're aligned with your existing collaboration uh, platform. And finally, social media should be used 
to enhance and improve productivity within your PPM environment. That's a very important point. So that concludes my session and my webcast for today. Of course, if you like additional information concerning my presentation today, um, you're more than welcome to come to my website at the blog that I write on on a regular basis. If you want to learn a little bit about more about our products, you're welcome to uh, visit our website at geniusinside.com and learn about our social uh, collaborative project management tools and, and technology uh, and our solution called Genius Project. 